John, thanks. The sinking houseboat on Horseshoe Pond has been sinking for nearly a full week now. Yeah, our update tonight includes what may be keeping other houseboats from the same fate. Our Tom Kowalski wanted to find out. Tom, you've been following this story, and today you talked with someone from the Houseboat Association and dive crew team that's investigating that sunken home. So is there risk of other houseboats sinking as well? Well, Mike and Eva, the good news and the short answer is no. While currently the while getting the currently sunk houseboat out of the water here is definitely a priority, the house the Horseshoe Pond Associ Houseboat Association, try saying that three times fast, says while other boats may look like they're close to sinking, it's not quite as dire as it may seem. After the houseboat of Horseshoe Pond sunk last week, people online have wondered. What's keeping the other buildings from sinking as well? A lot of the houseboats are new that are out there. A lot of them have been refurbished. Uh, the one that sank had a single barge under it, so any leaks at all uh, would make the whole thing fill up with water. Most of them have barrels or pontoons where they have multiple uh, flotation under them. So even if one fails, it's not going to sink the houseboat. It may tip a little bit, but it, it isn't necessarily going to sink. Eric Guerin, owner of Lake Shore Towing, says it will likely be a few more weeks until his company can remove the houseboat. He says this winter's lack of ice, which would keep the boats in place during heavy storms, may have contributed to the damage that caused the boat to sink. Most of the houseboat owners have us inspect them once or twice a year. Uh, some of them do, do it themselves. You know, really, they, they tend to keep up with the maintenance pretty well, but these uh, winter storms with no ice can really do a lot of damage. And Mike Hirsch, president of the Houseboat Association, says despite the sinking, he wouldn't be surprised if the structure can be saved. This is a rare occurrence, but it does happen. Uh, you know, a few years ago, one sank, and uh, they salvaged that one and uh, remodeled it, and it's better now than it was before it sank. But this one, I guess the, you could argue that the problem is that it's kind of a tough time of year. I, I, the answer is that's something I really couldn't speak to. Now, the exact cause of the sinking isn't known quite just yet. Lakeshore Towing says they're still trying to figure that out, but this week's weather has really slowed down their plans. They hope to get it out of the lake in the coming weeks. Live in the studio, Tom Kowalski, Erie News Now. All right, Tom, we know that you'll be on it.